segment. I thought I'd talk a, a little bit, you know, to uh, the tales of Z, uh, uh, my life according to Z. And I thought I'd talk to a little bit tonight uh, about coaching in the old GBL, the old Greater Boston League. That was uh, Revere. It was Peabody. It was Arlington. It was Waltham, Cambridge, Malden, Medford. I think I said Revere. Yeah, I might be leaving a, a few out. I'm sure I am. Anyway, the old GBL, there was nothing like it. It was <laughs> it was city. It was uh, uh, crude. It was back in the 90s when I started in the old GBL. Uh, you know, me, me and my buddies, my coaching buddies, you know, we, has, we had a, uh, you know, anytime anything, we'd witness anything on the court, on the field, uh, or off, you know, <laughs> you were somewhere else, you saw something wacky or something crazy, you look at each other and go, G, B, L, you know, and, uh, you know, I mentioned in the, um, in the promo uh, on Instagram, <laughs> that I've seen it. I've seen it all. I've seen. I saw a player. Uh, uh, I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna leave the names out to protect the innocent and the guilty. <laughs> and uh, I might leave a hint here or there, making put 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 two and two together, but. You know, early on, this is this was my my initial. This was in basketball, and I was an assistant coach, a freshman coach to start out, and in football and basketball, and and in basketball, I coached basketball the first year, and then it was the second year that I that I got hired as the football coach, um, which consisted of, hey, do you want to coach football? Yeah, sure. And, uh, and I was hired. <laughs> um, and uh, so so we're at we're at Peabody and and uh, we're, we're, Peabody's good. They're good at all in all sports back this is back in ooh jeez, mid 90s, this is 96 maybe. and um, and, and and we're playing Peabody up at Peabody, and Peabody's coach uh, back then was uh, a good guy. He wasn't wasn't really at least from my perspective, he wasn't really a yeller. There were a lot of yellers back then. I was a yeller, but I was a positive yeller. Anyway, uh, so they we're going back and forth, and they had a, they had kind of a. a, a uh, player that was that was was very good, very good player, and uh, so the, so the player made a mistake, and uh, he was running back on defense, and the coach was kind of riding him, and he turned to the coach, and he just spit right in his face, right in his face, and I remember, I looked at my head coach, I was at Arlington at the time. And it was, uh, my good coach was, was Mike Broderick. And I looked at Mike and, and I said, did you see that? And he, Mike Broderick was not someone that, that, that turned his focus away from the, the, the game at all. He was not someone that joked during games. He never even, you know, kind of, uh, 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 and he looked at me and he said, did I just see that? And I said, coach, I'm pretty sure you did. And so we continue on. This is a tight game. It's late in the fourth. And so we're in a timeout. It's tied. The place is going bananas. And 16 seconds left. We draw a, a, a play up. And the coach comes out of the timeout. And Broderick looks at me and he goes, Did I just see that kid spit on the coach? And I said, Yeah, you did. So that was my introduction to G B L. Um, we uh, okay. Let's go with football. So football, I, we saw we saw at um, 
<laughs> well, we've seen quite a bit. We saw one team that was notorious for <laughs> I want to keep this family oriented. They would use the locker rooms for to as toilets, kind of, and um, and yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's gross, sure thing. But it was known kind of throughout the league, and it became administrative <laughs> in that the A team <laughs> would <laughs> have to go into the locker room after the game uh, before the players and coaches so that we could <laughs> narrow down for certain I'm not I'm not going to say the the team cuz this was kind of well known back then I I don't want to I don't want to um, um embarrass anybody but yeah the coach went in and 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 and, and sure enough yeah that 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 had happened once again and so um that 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 became uh, a thing, and so uh, that that went on for years. That's no joke either, and it's uh, not really a joke, but but it went on for years. So, you know, I if you know, I know people that you know would hear the story and they would say that oh how sad that was that that was a uh, probably a player that uh, w was disturbed mentally and you know was crying out for help maybe or, or maybe needed mental issues no this this went on for 10 years this was a, this was a stern player it was a tradition so um yeah so there was that uh there was um uh there was the time in uh so Early on, my second year, bing, bang, boom, right off the bat, freshman, my freshman year, we were good. We were dynamite. We were stacked. Uh, we, had a, we had a kicker. We had a great kicker. Uh, we kicked a 46-yard field goal in a game. We kicked extra points. The only team to leave the kick extra points is freshman. Um, and, and we had a great – my mentor in football was John Hanley. Uh, great coach. One of my, you know, he set the foundation for everything I always did. You know, we we, we ran, uh, you know, I always ran five or six plays, and that was it. I never had a playbook, anything like that. We did a few things. We did really good. That's all John Hanley. Anyway, uh, that year we were really good, and you know, I'm a young guy, and uh, um, God, my kids were tough. I mean, real tough. You know, um, I. I don't want to um, disparage any of the kids today. I, I, I know these kids today are, are uh, tough, and they're 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 great kids, and they want to be coached. You know, one thing I've said in in my over twenty years of coaching and teaching is that the one thing that's never changed is the kids. The kids are always the same. The thing that's changed has been the parents or the society. The society has kind of gone in a negative direction, but the kids n have never changed. They've been awesome. Uh, even, you know, I, I'm t I told some negative stories there because uh, I thought they were kind of funny, but uh, the kids have been awesome. And my kids were, we were, we were undefeated going into the second to last game of the year, uh, Peabody again. And so we're playing, we're playing Peabody. And they're undefeated, and then Everett was undefeated, also freshman. You know, uh, you know, there are no championships in freshman. This is one of the few times that it kind of worked out that you know uh, the three teams that were undefeated um, were kind of all playing each other at the end. So there kind of could be a championship. Um, <laughs> we went out and got absolutely <laughs> just destroyed by Everett in the next game. But uh, and I got some stories from that one that are that 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 were were, were a lot of a lot, I learned a lot in that game. We got beat. I think it was forty six to nothing. Uh, I'll tell those another day. But um, uh, so we're playing Peabody, and I had a I had a, a fullback that was maybe one of the toughest kids I ever coached, maybe the toughest. And our tailback got hurt. Um, in school, he got hurt. He was in phys ed class and got hurt in phys ed class. So 
we literally uh, on the fly. He came. We they got out of school immediately. Um, we 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 got on the field. He went to tailback. Um, we, 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 our tailback, uh, went to, uh, tight end. We shifted kind of, and we just, we, we ran all the plays once so he could learn, you know, try to learn it once. And there are only six of them, but you know, um, so he, we're, we're playing and it, this is a, a back and forth affair. Uh, it was, uh, 10, we were up 10, we could field goal. Uh, that's right. He kicked like a 30-yard field goal to go up 10-7, and we was late in the fourth, and uh, Peabody had the best player on the field, though. Their, their tailback was really good. And so we had a fourth down uh, to basically to kind of ice the game. They were over our, right in our territory, maybe the 40, right near like the, 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 the 50, and – uh, so the, it's it's uh, fourth and one, and they ran a sweep, and this kid kind of got the edge, but my linebacker had a beat on him, and they're coming at me, and I froze. I'm on the side as a coach. I, I froze, and these two players just collided, knocked my kid out cold. I mean, just out cold. He got up. He, he played. Uh, well, this is 19, you know, 96. So it was different. He did play after that. But uh, knocks my kid out cold. They, they come crashing down. I didn't move. I learned after that always to move. And I got clocked by him and, a, uh, uh, and the other kid. And as this kid's getting up, <laughs> he looks at my kid and says, F you, and looks at my, me and goes, and F you. Ran back to the huddle. And that was a G-B-L. So I, I got stories for days about all that stuff, um, but uh, those are the those are the first right off the bat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap up this episode of the Zcast with me. My name is Scott Zwick, and it's gonna be a big weekend for sports A to Z. Tomorrow, Winchester at Tewksbury, one o'clock live in game updates. More content, more podcasts, more Zcast, Winchester Volleyball uh, at Worcester State. That's at six. Live updates, uh, scores, interviews, the whole schmear. And then tomorrow, uh, Sunday, sorry, it's girls at... um, I believe that's noon, and boys at 3.30. So a big championship weekend for the town of Winchester. And we follow local sports here at Sports A to Z. And so we're going to move onward and upward. And thanks for listening, and we'll see you around. Bing, bang, boo.